Oh my gosh. Quiet. Now, excuse me. Yes, I wear men's underwear. It's more comfortable. So, I was doing my usual nightly Pinterest scroll, as you do, and I was seeing a lot of inspiration for the that girl aesthetic, the that girl morning routine, if you will. And I've decided, I feel like with the type of content I make, we need to give this a go. Now, I wouldn't say I have a very structured morning routine currently. I usually get up, scroll on TikTok, have breakfast, have tea and biscuits, shower, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm ready for the day. But the only logical explanation is to ask ChatGBT. So, Create me a that girl morning routine starting at 7 a.m. I ain't waking up at 6.30 on my day off. Okay. It has structured me. A 7 a.m. wake up, rise and open the curtains to let in natural light, hydrate, quick morning stretch or yoga, take 10 minutes of meditation or journaling, skincare, a healthy breakfast, 45 minutes after I wake up, that's gonna be hard because I'm a hungry girl. <laughs> I need to eat as soon as I wake up. A quick workout, get ready, plan your day and start your day. That honestly looks quite good, actually. Now, I do really struggle with having a productive morning routine. So let's just see how this goes, shall we? But I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. lemon water but I'm just using water and ice because I don't want to contaminate my bottle with lemon because if you own a bottle like this you know the second you put something in this that isn't water it's gonna taste like that forever especially with a straw like this so but we got a cup of water like how sick is this ice cube tray how cute is this little ice cube tray are you kidding me I have two and they're my favorite things ever they're such cute little ice cubes I'm so tired. Anyways, let's just get our skincare done. Now, I can't moisturize my face until after I go for a run because I sweat so much that it just goes into my eyeballs. So my facial moisturizer will have to wait until after. First of all, let's put on some deodorant. I just got some Rexona to make sure we don't smell terrible. And then I just have this Beach Bliss spray. It's Caramel Almond and Vanilla Body Mist. I got it from Kmart and it smells really good. So I have this thing I got from Kmart as well. And I just use it for my cream cleanser because sometimes I think I'm a little too harsh with my hands. So I started using this and it's honestly so much nicer. I didn't even show you what cleanser I use. It's just by nature vitamin C one. It's a softer one too. Because I find that some cleansers are way too harsh, but this one's quite nice. Oh my gosh. This is such a bad camera angle. <laughs> Next, I'm going to apply these vitamin C eye masks. Now, I don't do eye masks every morning, but I'm gonna give it a go this morning because I'm pretty sure they can help you wake up a bit. So we'll give it a go. Need all the help I can get. Ooh, that's very chilly. So I keep that on for 15 minutes, which is crazy. Next, we got some of our moisturizer. It's just the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm going to just use it on my legs, but I can't be bothered to move the camera. So just take my word for it. I notice that my knees get really dry overnight, which is so random. Oh gosh. All right, I'm taking these off. It's been long enough. Slide. I've been feeling very sore lately, so I think this will be really nice. I'm in a really weird camera angle, can I? Just, I've just found some random video on YouTube to do, so. I 
foundation since I was young. So I'm just gonna find one on YouTube. It is literally 8.58 a.m. Was this supposed to be done by 9 a.m.? Like all of the thing? Yes. But do I have bad time management skills? And um, did I watch YouTube for 30 minutes? Yes. Yes, I did. But now we're going to go for a run. We also had to drive to the running location, which also adds an extra 20 minutes onto this whole thing. If you haven't watched my other video, which is my running video, you certainly should because now we're going to be doing another run on my runner app. It is a conversational running is what it's called. I don't think that's gonna happen it's not conversational at all it's me being unable to breathe for 25 to 30 minutes so let's just get it over with and also this is now turning into a vlog style video because i cannot be bothered to set up my tripod one more time so yes i'm extremely lazy thank you so much driving with a five minute walking warm-up look at all the pretty flowers i don't think these were here last time we came here for a run I'm not excited. I'm actually quite hot already and I can't be, I just, I can't take my jumper off. So feeling really good about everything so far. Flying. Felt good. I was chilling with that one. One of the hardest ones we've done, but I actually felt really good. I didn't get a stitch this time. So that's a first. Uh, it's pretty hot and I regret wearing this jumper. But other than that, we're slaying. This video is now turning into just a normal vlog because I cannot be bothered to set up my tripod again. So I ain't sorry. Now, <laughs> the next step is to just get ready for the day. Now, I know I haven't had the healthy breakfast yet, but I will be having that after my shower because there was no way I was eating a meal before going for a run because I would probably throw it up. I did have a couple biscuits though, but I just didn't have like an actual brekkie yet. It's gonna be a bit cold today. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this jumper. It's just a Ganda Ocean State jumper. I have two of these. I have this color and a blue one. They're my favorite jumpers ever. And then I'm just literally gonna wear some footy shorts. They're nothing exciting. They're just comfortable. And then I need some underwear. Also ignore my red eyes. I just got so much sweat in my eyeballs. So that's why they're red, if you were wondering. I've got some men's Christmas underwear. Yes, I wear men's underwear. It's more comfortable. Sue me. And then I've just got a non-matching pair of socks. And and then I have got a bra. So I need to wash my hair desperately. However, I do have a fun energy drink taste test for us to have together. Let me go grab that. First of all, we are obviously drinking water. Always stay hydrated. My boyfriend got me this energy drink. It's an Alani Dream Float flavor. Now, excuse me. I'm so excited to try this. I've never tried a flavor like this before, but this is the can. Is it not the most stunning thing you've ever seen? I've never tried an energy drink flavor like this before. So I'm so excited. I actually really like it. I was worried it'd be really strong sweet flavor and it's definitely sweet, but it's kind of a tame sweet, if that makes sense. It's quite dull, which is a good thing for a flavor like this, especially with an energy drink. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. I'm gonna go for a shower and I'll talk to you guys after my shower. So, are you wonky? I don't even know anymore, but I've been trying to be more protein focused with my breakfasts because I've started weightlifting and obviously the running and stuff. I just wanna make sure I'm getting a lot of protein in my day. I usually aim for a around 100. Obviously I don't always hit that, but I've been working really hard to find easy meals and snacks to just get me over the line a little bit. So this one is my one of my favorite breakfasts. Or well, usually I just have this as a snack. So first of all, we either get strawberry or chocolate protein powder. I'm gonna do chocolate. Then I will get some Greek yogurt and a bowl, obviously. This is just the Chobani Greek yogurt. It's 14 grams of protein per serve. Now I don't weigh anything, so so I usually just like round it up or down. <laughs> so for instance, like I'll guess that the yogurt I have in this is gonna be 10 grams of protein because I'll probably have a little bit less than the serving. And even if I have more, then that's great, but I just don't really factor it in that much, if that makes sense. I don't ever track how much protein I'm having. I just do it mentally. I don't write it down or have an app or anything. So I kind of just guesstimate. So I'll guesstimate that this meal is gonna be like 30 grams of protein, and then it'll either be a little bit more or a little bit less, but it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? I just don't wanna have to put that much mental thought into eating because sometimes that can lead to some negative thought patterns. So we just eat, okay? We're trying our best out here. Anyways, I do 
need like a decent scoop or two. Well, I'll do three scoops of this one. Then we get the protein. I do one scoop. Perfect. And then you just stir it a long time. It takes a couple minutes, but it's worth it. Also, my boyfriend did come up with this idea. I did not, but it's so good. You could also definitely add some fruit to this and stuff. It's just fruit's expensive at the moment, so I can't be doing that. <laughs> and then it just creates like a chocolate yogurt essentially, and it's like 30 grams of protein, and it doesn't make you feel really sick. It doesn't make me feel sick anyway, because sometimes some high protein foods do make me feel a bit icky, but this one doesn't. And it's also not extremely filling, which is good because obviously protein makes you feel full, and it's hard when you're trying to reach a certain amount of protein when you're full from the protein you've been having, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sense. It's time to enjoy this. I'm so excited. It's just so good. It's so basic, but it's so good. I need a water because I cannot be washing this down with this. But I'll talk to you guys once I finish breakfast. I've officially been able to tick everything else off the list. So the final thing of the day is to plan what you're going to do for the day. So let me get my mini notebook. Look how cute it is. It's got little cats on it. When I used to plan my days, I used to make it really, really specific. So I'd be like, at 10.15, I'll do this. At 10.30, I'll do this. And to be honest, it's just not sustainable for me. What I like to do now is I'll write down everything I want to get done in the day and then I'll give it a time slot. So let's say I need to study today, which I do. I'll say, okay, between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. I'll study. That doesn't mean I have to do it for two hours. It just means even if I do it for 30 minutes, I can do it between those two times, if that makes sense, because it makes it a lot less stressful for me. All right, I need to study. I need to go shopping. I need to edit. I need to wash the dogs and I need to go to the gym, right? So I have everything written down at the top of what I need to get done. It is already 10.30 so I'm gonna write 10.30 a.m. so obviously I can't put anything above that and then I'm gonna put 8.30 p.m. at the bottom of the page because after 8.30 I'm done like it's chill time after that first thing I'm gonna do today is go shopping so I'm gonna put go shopping between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. now I put it as 11 a.m. because I am going shopping straight after I finish filming this we have to drive there and stuff so I put 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. then we've got wash the dogs which I'll do when I get home home so if i get home by 1 p.m latest that can just be done between 1 30 and 2 30 right okay once that's done then i will probably edit so i put edit next and then that can be between i'm going to say 2 30 to 4 p.m and then after that will be study so since edit to study i'm going to do 4 30 until 6 p.m and then lastly go to the gym will be between 7 and 8 30 but let me show you what I mean. Got the 10.30 start here, 8.30 p.m. finish, and then each thing I want to get done today, I put the time next to it, so again, I don't have to do it for that long, but that's the time I have allocated to do that specific thing. So let's say with editing, for example, so I have a 2.30 to 4. I might only edit from 3 to 4 p.m. or even 2.30 to 3.30, which is fine because that's the allocated time I have. Doesn't mean I have to use all that allocated time. Does that make sense? It also puts a lot less pressure on yourself because if you put less pressure on yourself, you're more likely to actually get it done. At least that's what I've noticed. So we've written that plan out. I will leave it on my desk so it's easy to see. Do I think this is a good overall morning routine? Yes, yes I do. Do I think you'd be able to finish it by 9am? No. It doesn't leave much leeway for, <laughs> for like getting changed or, you know, I feel like you just have to be really go, go, go. Now, if you made this a habit, I think you probably could get it done by 9am, but it's a stretch. However, I did actually really enjoy it and it's really nice to switch it up sometimes. Will I be doing it again? Who knows? But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. But thank you guys. Goodbye.